three mini hauls, if you want to call them that, from like eight years ago. Like I'm looking at this rack and I don't even recognize the majority of what is on here. I'm like a different person now than when I first got all these things. Like, what is this? What in the world? I remember these, these are cute. I don't know, let's find out what's on this rack together. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I am a part-time reseller, which means that when I have free time on my hands, which is a very seldom lately, I like to go to different places like consignment stores and Goodwills and other thrift stores, and I like to buy things for as cheap as possible and sell them online on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari for as much as possible. And it has been a really great and also super fun side hustle that I like to share with you on this YouTube channel. So if that sounds interesting, just how to make money on the side by shopping and then selling the things that you buy, definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you are brand new. And if you are brand new, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I appreciate you so much. But today what I'm going to do is show you exactly what it is that I got at, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three different locations. And I feel like I went to all of these different places, at least two out of the three places with my mother-in-law because she was in town and wanted to do some shopping at her favorite consignment stores in the area. So um, I'm going to share with you hopefully how much I got each item for. I did like... <laughs> tape the receipts to the different places that I went to on these hangers to separate out, um, you know, where everything is from, but to also be able to look at it to let you know how much I got items for. And um, I'll be able to tell you how much I hope I'm selling each item for as well. So let's just jump right in, shall we? All right. So this first piece I think is pretty cool. Let me see like what the sale was at this particular consignment store. So Everything was $3. Everything that I'm about to show you. Oh, okay. It was a $3 sale. I think that I saw that there was a certain um, color tag that was going to be $3 for everything. And this is the first item that I got. I did not get it based on brand or anything like that because I don't think that this is really anything. Pretty sure that it is... Okay, well, it's made in Canada, it looks like, and that makes sense because this brand name looks to be French. And as you may know, French is definitely one of the major languages spoken in Canada. So my French is horrible. I'm so sorry. Fait à la main. <laughs> Fait à la main. I don't... I don't know guys, but um, it is 100% wool. Madagascar Weaver, St. Leonard, NB, New Brunswick, Canada, I want to say. I just thought the colors on this were stunning. I love a nice mock neck. I love it when the neck is high, but while being a high neck, it's also kind of like a boat neck. Like it's really wide, if that makes sense. Um, I just love the colors on it though. I like the silhouette of it. It's not perfect, which I'm about to show you. Um, there are definitely some flaws, but I hit $3 into it. I thought it was a unique enough piece and my hope was that it would sell for at least 25, if not like 30 ish dollars. So as you can see, there is some, um, there are some pulls in the fabric on the back here on the bottom. And then even like on the back of this one sleeve, you can see where, it's not a hole, but I don't know what you'd call this. It's almost like a rip, like the woven something integrity has definitely been compromised. So there is that flaw as well. Um, but I just thought it was so cool. I was getting it for $3. I love selling vintage pieces. I actually live on a college campus and at the union at the campus, they're having a vintage sale and I'm like playing around with the idea of if I want to have a booth, um, I wouldn't have that much to sell at the booth because I don't really have that much vintage stuff, but I, I don't know. I kind of want to like go through and see if I would have enough. The lady's waiting for a response from me to see if I want to do it or not. It's like a 10 by 10 booth. So I feel like maybe I could do it. I don't know. We'll see if there, maybe I'll put this off to the side just in case I do try doing that. That would be kind of fun. Don't you think? Let me know if you have any experience being a part of that sort of kind of pop up vintage fair or like a, you know, it's not really a flea market. It is indoors and um, it's not something that happens like once a week or anything like that, but I don't know. It's just a pop up. Let me know if you have any tips for me as I contemplate doing my very first one. Um, there was a lot of Spanx and I typically can get at least 20 25, sometimes even more um, for Spanx. Now, it depends on the style. This one is in a size large, but I think these are just like cropped. Um, but they're good to wear like under dresses or um, even out as 
even as leggings, I guess, but I don't know. I think I could definitely get at least 20, 25 for these. Spanx is definitely one of my bread and butter brands that I like to sell pretty often. And I do have two more pairs of Spanx. Um, this one is kind of that like liquid faux leather uh, skinny style. So it's made to look kind of like leather, but it definitely is not. I have a pair of these for myself as well. And these, the tag, like the label was ripped off as you can see, but there was still the um, care tag and it does say Spanx on there. I don't know the size, but it'll it'll be really easy to just measure the waist and figure it out that way. And I've sold plenty of these before, so I'm pretty sure that um, I will have even a in, you know an existing pair in my inventory or ones that I've sold recently that will match the measurements of these. So I can just compare against things that I've already sold, and that'll be easy peasy. So that was Spanx number two. And then here is Spanx number three. These ones hopefully will sell for at least like 30-ish dollars, if not a little bit more. And then these ones are like ankle length as well. Um, these are in a size medium. These hopefully will go for like 20, 25. So this is basically identical to the large pair that I first showed you. So three pairs of Spanx, $3 each. I think that's pretty good. This next item I got from my mom, just because purple is her favorite color. She does like active wear pieces. It's a Nike piece. It's just like a full zip and it's in her size. It was a Nike dry fit in a size medium. Um, I thought she would just like that. She likes to go hiking and stuff like that. So I got that for her. This one, whew, so there's a lot going on here. I got this for $3, don't forget. It is Soft Surroundings, which, you know, they were just bought out recently by, I want to say, Coldwater Creek. So some people have theories that, you know, if they kind of hoard this brand, that the prices will skyrocket. I, I don't know if I really subscribe to that idea or not. This is in a size large, extra large. It just looks so cozy. So it's in a nice striped neutral gray. Um, it's got like these big open sleeves. Um, basically, it's just like a big, huge, long shawl. Like for me, I'm going to stand up on this chair. <laughs> it literally comes down to my ankles. I would look pretty ridiculous in this thing. Um, and then it's got a hood too. So it's just a great layering piece. This honestly gives me like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen vibes from like the two thousands. Like when they were, what was that, that they called it? Like dumpster core. I don't even remember what they would use to describe their fashion sense back then. It wasn't very complimentary, but this does kind of remind me of them, except that this is gray and they wore more like beiges and browns and things of that nature. But this is pretty cozy. I don't know. And I'm wondering what this is made out of. Like, I wonder, oh, and there's pockets, large pockets. I'm wondering if there's any wool in this, but it's just kind of like fleecy. I, I didn't look up comps or anything. I was like, $3, I'm just gonna get it, even if it only sells for $25. It's cotton and polyester, but I don't know. I think it'll do well. I feel like it could go for at least $35. It's a pretty substantial piece. And then this is by the brand Sanctuary. I just have really good luck with Sanctuary pieces. This isn't a size large. And furthermore, I have really good luck with Sanctuary like camo print pieces. And this was all of that. I recently sold a jacket similar to this by Sanctuary that was just red. It wasn't even camo print. And that one did pretty well. It moved pretty fast. Um, every time I look at these pieces and I'm like, this is not gonna move very quickly, is it? But it does. So um, this one, yeah, like I said, size large. I only had $3 into it. Hoping I can sell it for at least 30, 35 bucks. We'll see how that does. So that was everything that I got at the $3 sale. I think I went to that sale by myself. I went just cause it was $3. They didn't really have that much, but I was pretty happy with what I did pick up. So at the next store, I got, let's see. Oh wait, oh wait, I got a pair of shoes here too. So hold up, let's see what's in here. I got this pair of Steve Madden, just kind of like suede slip on ankle boots with a nice wooden heel. Um, they were $3, so they're in a size eight. They're brown. These are very clearly black. Like <laughs> It says brown on the tag. I'm gonna go with that person was a little colorblind because this looks very black to me. But um, yeah, just nice slip on, open toe boots. Not really the season for them right now. And I think they were trying to move out a lot of their like fall and winter pieces. Um, but I hope that these will go for at least $30. And like I said, I had $3 into them. So I am pretty happy with that. All right, next up, 
I went to a different consignment store with my mother-in-law when she came to visit. Um, they were doing 80% off, I wanna say. I don't know why, I don't have the receipt for this stuff, but I think it was 80% off, and it was like two weeks after <laughs> this first haul. Um, I didn't really get that much stuff at this store either, and to be honest with you, a lot of what I did find, um, I feel like my mother-in-law <laughs> took with her because she liked a lot of what I found and it happened to be in her size. Um, I think it was 80% off. It was either 80 or 75% off. So this is a Jay McLaughlin piece. They were asking $12.99 for it. Jay McLaughlin is a super expensive brand retail. Like to be honest with you, this probably was like over $100 retail at the store. Um, I'll probably sell it for like 25 to 30 ish dollars. This is what the label looks like. And they're really well known for their women's. Um, they have this knit it's like a jersey knit and it's called i'm just thinking of the st john one which is the catalina knit mm -hmm. i can't remember what the jay mclaughlin one is called right now but um their men's pieces can do all right too and this is just such a classic look it's a little bit bigger of a size with it being a large it's a trim fit so i just thought i would take a chance on it it's just so classic um and that's one of the reasons why i have all of this stuff hanging on this rack next to me is because when i am bad about hauling my items and processing my items they just sit in bags and they get all wrinkly and i was like i cannot let this get wrinkly that's like the main reason i don't like to um, resell button up or button down shirts for men is because I let them sit in the bags for too long and then they get super wrinkly and then to get them unwrinkly is such an abhorrent process to me <laughs> like whether it's I steam them or I you know wash them and hope that the wrinkles come out in the dryer like all of it stinks and so I was like I just need to get this hung up so it doesn't get messed up so that's what this guy is um, the next piece my mother and I tried on, but she didn't really love it, even though she's been looking for um, like this material, this kind of like teddy material. So this was new with tags. Um, this is Abercrombie & Fitch. It's part of their soft A&F collection in a size small. It retailed for $79, and I got it. Let's see. I don't know where the consignment tag is. I just remember they had it for pretty cheap. Like... I want to say they were selling it for like $19.99, so I think I got it for like $4, and I didn't tell you how much this guy was. This guy, they had it priced at $12.99, so I had, what, like $2.06 into that, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, this was brand new with tags, and it's in like a nice kind of dusty purple color, like a dusty mauve color, which I feel like is really popular right now. We've been looking for lavender sheets and duvet covers for my daughter because that's the color that she wants for her bedroom and we went to like a crate and barrel kids and like a pottery barn kids they're only selling this color and she's like i don't want it to be this dark and they kept describing it as like a dusty mauve and we were like no thank you but it's nice because it's got pockets it's just nice and kind of loose um a nice just quarter zip pullover so with it being new i was like yes i will try that for what did i say like four dollars um, this is a brand that I know a lot of people are not picking up very much. I still have good luck with it, and that brand is Barefoot Dreams. This is in a size extra small small. It's part of their cozy, chic, light collection. Um, they were asking $14.99 for it, so I paid about $3, which I think is an appropriate price to pay for Barefoot Dreams. It's just one of their nice, like, long, you know, long line cardigans. It's open. It's in a very neutral taupey color is that what you would call this kind of like grayish beige um i don't know i have one that i love i just like to wear them around the house and stuff they're just super comfy mine is gray this is like i said a little bit more like taupey. do i want that i don't know maybe i'll list it and if it doesn't sell in like two years i'll keep it for myself all right this next dress um it does need some work in that I need to steam it, which I hate. Like you can see down here on the hem um, how this is folded over and it just does not look right, which is annoying. But I was excited by this brand. The brand is Sale to Sable. Um, it says STS and then underneath Sale to Sable. It's in a size extra large, which is great. They were asking $44.99 for this and that's because this is a pretty expensive brand. When I was looking up similar dresses um, it, by this brand, you know, this is just like a nice v-neck, just sheath dress. Um, they were going for like $60, $70. So 
there's not a lot that meets the eye. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks like something that you could have gotten at Macy's with like a 50% off coupon stacked with like a 25% off sale stacked with like open a credit card and you get like 90% off of whatever it is that you're buying. It looked like something that you could get there, but I don't know, because of this label, it goes for a ton. And this one is made of cotton and spandex. So not quite sure what the hype is all about, especially because of this mess down here, but I was willing to pick it up for basically $10 and just see what happens. I will keep you posted. And if you wanna know what happens to that dress, definitely make sure that you subscribe so that you can see it come up in hopefully a future What's Old video. Like pretty soon, hopefully not like two years from now when I'm like, remember that sale to sable dress? Like hopefully in like next month's What's Old video, you're like, oh my gosh, there's that dress. The next thing I picked up was this quarter zip pullover by the brand Peter Millar. I don't, I don't know what Peter Millar to pick up. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I feel like Peter Millar is very hit or miss. Sometimes it does really well, sometimes it doesn't. This one's in a size medium. Um, they were asking $16.99 for it, so I got it for a little over $3. And it is made of 53% cotton, 22% lyocell, 20% nylon, and 5% silk. So it feels really nice. It's in like a really nice blue. Um, Peter Millar is, I believe, a golf brand, just very preppy, just kind of like the more mature male crowd um, hoping I'll get at least 35 for this I don't know I haven't picked up Peter Millar in a while so I don't really know how it does I got a lot of men's stuff this time around I wasn't as excited about their women's pieces I guess I don't know this is a Woolrich piece um, it's in a size medium you can see kind of it's a little bit faded but there it is and it is just like a nice um, snap button like a quarter snap button pullover in this great like blue fleece. Um, it's very similar to Patagonia, this style. It's basically a complete copycat of Patagonia. It's just very classic and people fall over themselves to you know, wear these and layer um, whatever it is that they're wearing with this kind of stuff. So hoping 35 for that one. And I think I already told you, but they were asking, well now the tag is gone, so I don't even know. I think they were asking like 15 something for this. Next up, I have this Carhartt piece. This is in a size extra large. It's a relaxed fit. They were asking $14.99 for this. Um, you know, Carhartt definitely is still popular, but it's not the way that it used to be. And so I just got this because I feel like it's honestly kind of unisex in that like girls would like to wear it over just like cute little crop tops or something, almost as like a shacket with just like some jeans or something like that. Um, guys obviously could wear it for its intended purpose. <laughs> it's nice and like heavy of solid construction. Um, I like the colors on it. I think it'll photograph well. I'm hoping I can get at least $25, $30 for that. I recently got like a really cute actually Carhartt it was like short sleeve button up shirt for women um, and it was in like a beigey colorway with like the same kind of plaid print. That one went really fast and I think for its full asking price. So yeah, I mean Carhartt, especially if it's really cute and in good condition and um, you know in bigger sizes they can do really well. So that was the end of that trip. And then that same day, I believe, my mother-in-law and I went to one more store, um, a different consignment store, and got a few things there. She got like a really great dress by, oh my gosh, what was the brand? Oh, Alambica, which is a really cool kind of like artsy fartsy, I don't know, like log and look type of brand. Um, she got a really cool dress by them and she got a cool dress at the previous um, consignment store too, but she she did a good job of kind of controlling herself and not getting too much. Um, so this was in the men's section. I was pretty excited about these. I've never come across these before. Um, I've never listed them, so I don't know how they're going to do, but comps looked pretty good, which is why I was excited. So I was looking through the men's jeans that were on sale. They were doing 75% off of red tags. So this was $14.99, so I paid like close to four dollars for these um, which is less than I would pay at Goodwill. They're Levi's 70s high flare jeans in a size 30 and like I said they have these in the men's section but these I'm pretty sure are women's jeans. I did look up comps for them. This is what the bottoms look like. You can see like a pretty wide exaggerated flare, um, just great high waist. They are um, a zipper closure but I just 
thought these were really cool. And honestly, they are in amazing condition. I feel like they haven't been worn and comps for these were looking so good. So I am very excited about these. Um, I think I can get at least 50 for them from what I remember. Again, I feel like I got these things like 12 years ago. So I don't remember like what anything was as far as comps are concerned, but I remember being pretty excited about those when I looked up comps. This is a pair of really great faux leather pull-on pants by the brand Rails. Um, I've been burned by Rails pretty recently, I feel like. It's just, it, you know, the shirts that everyone used to be crazy over are definitely not as popular as they used to be. I was kind of like okay with taking a chance on pants, especially these ones. So they were asking $32.99, so I had probably close to like $8 into these. But they're like this really cool faux leather elastic waist pull on pant. And they have these like really large pockets in the front. I love these kind of like, I don't know what you call them, but the kind that just sit in the front. Um, I, I love those pockets. Um, let me stand so you can get the full picture. If these were my size, I would totally keep them because they're kind of just like a comfortable pull on pants, but because of the faux leather, you just look so much more put together. They're really cool. Um, and I did look up comps. I don't remember what they were because it was like 14 years ago when I got these. But excited about those. Very, very excited. Next up. Oh my gosh, I was very, very excited about these. I'm not 100% sure. I think though, well, let me just tell you about the brand and stuff too. Okay, wait. <laughs> I just noticed what might be a huge flaw. <laughs> Um, okay, I don't, mm, eh, yeah. okay, well, these are the brand A Goldie, which is amazing. These are so expensive, but I just realized why they might be priced so low. So these are in a size 27. They were asking $29.99 for them, and I was like, yes, please, because these go for so much. Um, so I had like, what, $7.50 into these? I think I have these, but um, I think they're like the 90s high rise something something. I don't remember what they're called. So they're very, very distressed as you can see, like just huge holes in the knees. This is, this is what I don't think is supposed to be there. <laughs> do you see, uh, do you see this mess right here? This is, this is where your butt cheek goes, right here. I. I don't think that this was manufactured. I think someone was wearing this and then their butt exploded and this happened. So I think that's why these were so cheap. I will look up stock photos. I don't think that this is what they look like because you would have to be crazy to want there to be this giant gash in the back of your jeans right where your butt cheek is. So I will have to disclose that giant rip and suggest in the listing description that they can patch it up. Um, just get real creative with that little part. Or if someone has really been looking high and low for a pair of jeans where they can show off their butt cheeks that they are supremely proud of, here you go. Here you go. Okay. I don't even know what these, oh, I think these are for me and I'm glad that I'm finally showing them to you because I've been wanting to wear them. So this is just J. Crew Mercantile and it's a size two. It's just a pair of black pull-on pants with an elastic waist. That's it. $17.99. So I paid a little over maybe close to $4 for those. And I have one more where that came from. So this one I actually love too. So those are a little bit more like slouchy and just like very comfortable, very lightweight, kind of like, you can dress them up, but I think they're gonna appear pretty casual. This is by the brand Something Navy, which is a brand sold at Revolve, again, a size two. These are definitely just a bit more tailored looking and they're high-waisted. I think those J. Crew ones were too. Um, you can see like, I don't know, like the waistband is a little bit more, um, put together, sophisticated. There's like the belt loops and these like taper at the bottom. These are going to be mine as well. And this, I don't know, they both looked 
they both fit really nicely, um, but these just look a little bit more put together, if that makes sense. Polyester rayon spandex, nothing exciting. Um, and I would resell these, except for the fact that I don't feel like people who are shopping on Revolve and people who like uh, something navy, I don't feel like they care about their dress pants. So those are gonna be mine. And then I did find another pair of great pants in the men's section, but these are actually men's pants. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am a cool stan. Like this brand here, especially for men, I have had tremendous luck with in the past. That luck has slowed down quite a bit. Like I don't think that the same kinds of cool pants that I was selling back in the day are commanding the same kind of price that they used to. But these, um, they were asking $17.99 for. So yeah, a little, maybe like close to $5 on these. Um, they're in a size 40 by 32, which is great. But they are basically like outdoor pants for when you're like hiking or camping. I don't know. I don't know in what other circumstances you're wearing these, but they are those like adjustable pants that you can um, zip off the bottom half in case, you know, you're just out in the woods and in the morning when you set out, it was like a brisk 30, 40 degrees, but then in the afternoon it changed to like 60 degrees and you're like, my calves can't take it anymore. I need to free them. And so you just like unzip and you just put this bottom part in the cargo pocket. That's what they're designed for. There's also like, there's also the option if you want, there's like a little snap button here. You can undo that. You can zip up to like here on the bottom and just create like a nice little flare moment for yourself. Lots of ways to just, you know, give your calves more airflow. Cool is thinking about your calves. They do not want your calves to be uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, they just have so many bells and whistles on cool pants. So they've got the cargo pockets on the back. They have like the Velcro pockets with like easy access, like ha, right? So you just, whatever things you need to keep in here. They have like the little carabiner loop thing. I don't know what people are putting on here, but I'm sure people are putting something there because otherwise why would they have that? So lots of cool things about these. And the best thing about these pants is that despite the fact that they are meant to be worn outdoors and you're supposed to just do manly things in these and get rough and wild, I don't think anyone did any of that in these pants. I feel like these are basically brand new. I think someone got these with every intention of being that Bear Grylls type of character out in the woods and then they took one look at the woods and they're like, you know, I'm good. I'm good on the inside. That's how my son is sometimes. Like, we'll be like, do you wanna eat outside with us? Cause we have this nice little like um, screened in patio and he's like, I'm okay. I'm, I think I'm more of an inside boy. <laughs> so I think the person that got these realized before they could mess them up that they were just more of an inside boy and that's okay too. All right, we have a couple more things. This next piece is probably my favorite. Um, it's a really long story guys, but my mother-in-law I believe is going to live in LA. It's, it's a long story and I don't have time to tell it to you right now, but I think that for the foreseeable future, she's gonna be living in LA, which is sad because we won't get to see her as often, but um, it does mean that we get to go out to LA. So we actually have a trip to LA planned um, in June, which I'm super excited about because I haven't been there in such a long time. I used to go every summer when I was a kid because we had cousins that lived out there. Um, but you know, as we got older, we just didn't go anymore. And I was so excited when I found this bag because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear this when we go to LA. So um, this is by Fry, as you can see. And they were asking, they were asking kind of a lot, but I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it though. I'm gonna wear it. Okay, I don't see that. Let me see. I also taped the receipt for this trip on this hanger. Let's see. This Fry bag, I paid $18 for. Okay, maybe it wasn't 75% off. I think everything was actually only 50% off. Yeah, it was only 50% off. That's why I didn't get that much stuff. Okay, now things are making more sense. Ugh, that means I paid $15 for those A Goldie jeans. Now that seems way too much given the gash on the back. Let me, let me redo these prices. Those Levi's, the flare jeans, $7.50. Still great, I think that's still a great pickup. The Rails pants, $16.50. I did 
look up comps before I bought those and it seemed like it would be okay, but ooh, I'm questioning things now. Um, this bag, $18, which I stand by because I'm going to use it. Um, cool pants were $9. I'm okay with it. Something navy pants for myself, J. Crew pants. I don't care. Uh, those I paid like eight and nine bucks for. Great. Okay, back to this beautiful bag. So this is by Fry. The leather is so soft, so soft. I don't think I've ever owned a bag with fringe, but this crossbody, I don't know. I just love it, and I kind of am living for the fringe on it. You know, just let me live my life. Um, there's like a big this thing, I don't know what this is called or what the purpose of it is, except to be like, look, it's a fry bag. Um, it's in beautiful condition. It honestly kind of feels like no one used it very much. The inside is super clean. It even comes with the dust bag that um, it you know, was sold in. So I don't know, I am a huge fan, super excited about this. I'll probably try it out for myself for a little bit, maybe for like the summer, and then maybe I'll sell it unless I realize I love it so, so, so much. Um, and then there's also the little, this guy, the key, I don't know, the thing, the key, do you put keys on it? I don't know. So there's that. So very exciting. I don't typically get bags. Um, also because like, I feel like generally there are not a lot of great bags in my area at these consignment stores and stuff like that, or they just want like way too much for them. But that was a price that I was willing to pay. And then finally, I thought these were so cool and comps for these were really, really good. Um, I paid, let's see how much I paid for these. I paid a decent amount for these. I think I paid like nine, 12, 12.50. I paid 12.50 for these. Um, but like I said, comps were really good. They were really high. Look how cool these are. So these are by Polo Sport. And I don't know, they just have such a cool look to them. I love the exterior leather. I just love, I just love the look. They are kind of narrow is the only thing. So they're Polo Sport Ralph Lauren, size seven and a half. Um, but when I looked up comps for these, they were so good. I don't remember right now off the top of my head what comps were, but they were really strong, which is why I was willing to pay as much as I did. I don't know, even just like the stitching up on top here, I just thought it was so beautiful and well done. Um, and these are in incredible shape. Like look at the soles. Yeah, I don't know, I was crazy about these. And my mother-in-law tried them on. She's like, these are no good, they're not comfortable. And I was like, okay, I don't think people are wearing these for comfort. I think they're wearing them because they're super cool. Um, and also like, you know, I feel like older women, um, they just want like, hokas or on clouds like they just want super comfortable things like she lives in like crocs and stuff this is obviously not going to be that but they are really cool i really wish they were my size because i would have worn them and look they have a little dangly thing too just like my new fry purse so everyone will know as you're walking oh this side doesn't have it i don't know if that's a problem but it's like dangle 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 i'm a polo sport shoe that is everything in my haul today. I am very excited about listing everything. I'm actually gonna photograph some of this stuff right now because I'm very excited about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button because believe it or not, that simple act actually helps others see this video on YouTube because YouTube pushes it out a little bit more in their algorithm. So if you don't mind hitting that like button on your way out, I would so appreciate it. But that is everything for today's video. Thank you for watching, for being a part of this little community that I have here on the internet, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.